Based off your experience with the yield maximizer, is one combine actually better than the other? <clears throat> well, here's how it is. Uh, John Deere, they have 67% of the combine market on a global spectrum. So they stick with one design like for quite a long time. So because they can get their money out. Like they're still going to sell more combines than the other manufacturers just because they're green. So they stick with one design for longer. So they stuck with a single rotor while like uh, New Holland and well, it's CNH, is Case New Holland and Lexion, and they, they had uh, twin rotors. So John Deere didn't go to a twin rotor until the X9. And the single rotor, like 680, 780, 98, uh, 770, 98, 70, those combines with a single rotor, you can't run them to the power limit, especially in canola, like especially in dry canola. Uh, they do do a really good job. The 780s are the last of them are uh, last years of them are a spectacular combine, but you just have to slow down. And you know, in a heavy canola crop, about like three and a half is if you want to get all you can. That's what all you can do. Three seven, three eight, uh, with a six thirty five D straight cutting. And as far as other combines uh, go, like I've always been able to get these deers to do just as good of a job. Uh, now we have the X nines. Uh, excellent combine we've had uh you've used them two years now i think we have 600 hours on them and uh not a problem like there was a couple times we had to uh, change some sensors in the morning on warranty but uh they never have put us down in the field ever in two years that's a true story but everything's good we're not really brand loyal we just uh run green because it's the closest uh and uh most uh, accessible dealership for us.